Hello students, in this video we'll cover two more geometry facts about triangles. So looking at this diagram on the left, this is an equilateral triangle. Now that means all sides are equal to each other and therefore all angles are equal. So if these three angles add to 180 degrees, they must be 60 degrees each. So geometry fact number six, the angles of an equilateral triangle are 60 degrees. An isosceles triangle has two sides the same length. And by symmetry, that must mean it also has the two base angles must also be equal. So geometry fact number seven, the base angles of an isosceles triangle are congruent. And we get the base angles by just saying what's opposite each of the equal sides. Okay, let's go ahead and do four questions based on that. Okay, this first one is dead easy. It's an isosceles triangle. Therefore, the base angles are equal. So I can solve this one by simply saying P equals 70 degrees. And the reason I can say that is base angles in an isosceles triangle are equal. And that's what the coded reason for that looks like. Um, I'm going to try this one down here, which is a little bit harder. So let's do these two, and then you can have a go at the easier ones. Now, this one here, these are the two base angles. So if that's T, that's T. So I've got to add something to the diagram. And now I'm going to use algebra to solve this one. So I can say T plus T plus 32 is 180, and T plus T is 2T plus 32 adds to 180, subtract 32 from both sides. Again, we're using an algebraic method here. Whoops, solving equations. And how do I get that to go back? That was a bit dumb. There we go. OK, they cross out 2t equals 180 minus 30 is 150. Take away another 2, 148. Divide both sides by 2, and t equals 74 degrees. And the reason is base angles in an isosceles triangle are equal. I'll do it over here. That one looked pretty bad. So draw the, draw the triangle, draw the isosceles triangle base angles are equal. Okay, stop the video and watch, uh, or sorry, and try the next two problems, please. Okay, first one up here is easy. We've got an isosceles triangle. Those are the base angles of the isosceles triangle. So we can say here that F equals 57 degrees. And the reason for that is we know that the base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal. And for this one down here, we have an isos sorry, an equilateral triangle, since all the sides are equal. And we know that, therefore, all the angles are equal. And in particular, they're equal to 60 degrees. And the reason we know that is angles in an equilateral triangle all equal 60 degrees. Let's see if we got any more questions to do. No, we don't. So we'll stop the video just there.